Hello everybody, PyTech here and welcome to my new video. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about the differences between a traditional Wi-Fi system and a mesh Wi-Fi system. So let's get started. So here's my TP-Link router. Uh, you can see that this particular router has about six antennas. So when I purchased this, I thought this would be pretty good as uh, the number of antennas suggests that the coverage should be good. So uh, turned out it didn't work as well as I expected it to do. So um, now I have purchased a new set of mesh routers. So these are the eyeball Baton mesh Wi-Fi network or the mesh routers that you can see. These are available in set of two or set of three depending on the area of your house. So you can purchase either a set of two or three to improve the coverage in your house. Now the major difference between a traditional Wi-Fi and a mesh router is that instead of one router, you get more than one routers to improve the network coverage. Of course, you can always add a Wi-Fi extender or a repeater to your existing traditional router. But the problem with that is as and when you move around the house, the network does not switch automatically to your uh, repeater. So you will have to manually disconnect from your main router and then connect to your uh, extender or the Wi-Fi repeater. With the mesh Wi-Fi, whenever you move around the house, your device gets bounced automatically between one router to another seamlessly. There is absolutely no drop in terms of your network connection and the transfer happens immediately and you maintain a stable internet connection throughout the house. So in this video, I will show you how a mesh Wi-Fi system can make a drastic difference in the performance of your internet connection at your house. So the following tests have been performed in a 1800 square feet house and the results are in front of you. If you like what you see, please do click on like, subscribe and share. I leave a link to this product in the description if you'd like to purchase this or you can go to Amazon or Flipkart and find many other alternatives for mesh Wi-Fi systems. Let's get started. Let's start off with the test in the hall. I'm in close proximity to both the routers which is evident from the full Wi-Fi signal on the top right side. Throughout this video, you will see the TP-Link router results on the left and the eyeball mesh Wi-Fi results on the right side. Let's start the speed test. As you can see, there's not much of a difference in the speed results in the hall. Now let's move to the master bedroom and check if we find any difference there. We are running the test now in the master bedroom. Uh, please immediately notice the Wi-Fi strength. The right side eyeball mesh Wi-Fi has complete Wi-Fi signal, whereas the TP-Link has already lost a little bit of bars in the Wi-Fi signal. Let's see how this affects the speed results. So you can see that the TP-Link is at 20.4 megabytes per second, whereas uh, the speed at, for the eyeball mesh Wi-Fi is around 70 megabytes per second, download and upload. So like you can see, the difference is already quite major. Let's now move to the second bedroom and have a look at the difference in results. So notice the Wi-Fi signal is just one uh, bar less in the eyeball mesh Wi-Fi from the full uh, network coverage, whereas the TP-Link is struggling to latch on to a Wi-Fi network. So the eyeball has already started the speed test and it's around 57.7 megabytes per second uh, in terms of download speed, whereas uh, TP-Link is still trying to catch on to the network. So you can see here in the results that the mesh Wi-Fi really makes a significant difference and goes to the areas in the house where your regular Wi-Fi can't even think or dream of reaching. The TP-Link has now finally caught some connection and you can see that the speed is hardly anything to brag about. It's not even a single megabyte per second. So I hope you guys found this video informative and please again, uh, if you like what you saw, do consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Thank you so much for your time and have a good day.